Okay, we're going to do task eight. This is rebuilding our brake caliper. Uh, here's the inside of our caliper here. Here's our piston right here. See down there, it's actually hollow inside. And then here's the caliper part. Here's where our sliding pin goes here and here. And then on the back side, we've got our bleeder screw and where our brake hose attaches to the caliper. So what we need to do first is secure this in the clamp. We're going to go ahead and clamp this up. It. That's good. It's still wiggling a little bit, so I'm going to pull on this a little bit more. That's good enough. Okay, now you got to be real careful. We're going to be using compressed air here. Okay, and we're going to blow air into the back of the caliper where the hose normally goes. Uh, the bleeder screw needs to be tight. If it's loose, then we're just blowing air right back out the bleeder screw this way. So make sure this is tight. Also, uh, this is going to come out with a tremendous amount of force once it gets out this far. So, one thing we want to do is put a rag right here to kind of help us out. Okay, and another, actually that should be thick enough. Okay. And what we're going to do is hold this from the back and then add compressed air through the back hole of the caliper. Once it's out, that's good. Take this out, okay? And we want to go ahead and inspect this. Okay, we want to check. We'll go ahead and wipe it off. We want to look for any pitting on here and any imperfections. You can see a little bit right there. That's not a real big deal. That's just kind of where this thing tends to hang out on the seal. Okay, that's okay. Also, we're missing right here in this groove, there's a dust boot that goes here. Um, we're not, this keeps breaking every time we do laps, we're not going to put that on. Um, but just know there's a dust boot that goes here to keep the brake dust from going in and getting between our seal and the piston here. Okay, so once we've inspected that, go ahead and take out your piston. We want to go ahead and take a look in here. And we want to examine this in here, you want to look for any any pitting in here, okay? You want to check it with a finger, and then we have a seal here. And now we're going to need need to go get our special tool real quick to pull this out. So let me go grab that real quick. Okay, so we've got what this is called a pick tool. It's got a little point on the end. This allows us to get inside of here. Go down this way. Now we don't want to tear the seal, but we're going to get under it. Just grab under there and then pull this out, okay? And we want to examine the seal. We're going to make sure it's in good condition. There's no cracks. There's no rough spots. Okay. And there's a few on here, but I want you to, to note that on your lab packet as you look through this. You need to look at this, all these pieces, to see which parts are good and which ones are not good and let me know what you find, okay? So, this looks pretty good. Um, we're gonna go ahead and pop this back in. Make sure, also, right here, this groove here, we wanna make sure there's no dirt or contamination in, in here. You know, just kinda run this pick tool around, make sure there's nothing on there. I hardly see anything. But make sure we don't have any dirt or grime or nasty inside here before we put our seal back. So. What we need to do is put a little bit, just a dab of brake fluid on the seal here. Just coat that, that'll keep this lubricated. And that's why I'm wearing gloves. I don't like brake fluid, I don't like touching it with my bare hands, it's nasty stuff. So make sure you're wearing gloves when you do this, please. Come ask me for a pair, I'll give you some gloves to wear. This is a little tricky here, but when I sneak this in here. Okay, we finally got our seal back in here. 
Okay, so what we want to do is coat this with a little bit of brake fluid. So I'm, not, I'm just not going to use this one. I've got my bare hands. I don't like touching this stuff. I'm just going to run my glove. Let's coat it with this on here. What I need to do is, I'm going to go ahead and clamp this device so we can reinstall the piston. It's nice to see what's going on. Okay. Next, I want to dry off my piston here. I don't want any dirt or grime or anything like that, so dry that off. And I'm going to coat this. I don't want to touch this brake fluid. I'm just going to dab the glove in here like that and just coat the piston here. This I don't touch. Well, I got a little bit on me, but I don't want to touch very much. That should do it. Just on the inside loop here. And then we're going to go and press this down as much as we can by hand. And this isn't going to go down by hand. We're going to do something else to get this in. But we want to try and get this in as far as possible, just using your hand. Then, if you can't push it down, we're going to take an old brake pad. We're going to put that right on top. We're going to get our C-clamp here. And we're going to put that. Let me open this up a little bit. Bring it up if you need to slide this on and this one's a little funky so we're gonna usually we would want to put this right in the center we're gonna push this actually towards the top a little bit and then we're gonna watch this as it goes down and we want to make sure it's going down evenly if it doesn't go down evenly it's gonna get stuck and then we gotta do this all over again it's more pressure here And now we're stuck. So we're going to have to pop this back out and try this one more time. And we're going to put a rag over the top of this so we don't lose this or it doesn't hit anybody. Some air. Pop it back out. Okay. And this probably will happen to you where you have to do this couple times just to get it right. So that's okay. Get it in by hand first. You want to look at it. Let's look at her. My seal's a little dry, so I'm going to put a little bit more. On the seal. If this is dry, your seal or the piston is dry, this is not going to go back together. So you can be pretty liberal with how much brake fluid you put on here. That's fine. The more the better. I just don't want you soaking this thing in it and touching it as little as possible. So I'm going to try and get this in here again. So it's going to stick it on me here. Push it, wiggle it in there. It's not going that straight. Okay. Oh, went in by hand. That's good enough. If you can't get in by hand, um, go ahead and come see me. I'll help you out. Um, but that's good. We want to push this all the way down. You can see this is all the way down. And then we would go ahead and put our dust boot back on as well. Um, again, we're not going to do the dust boot today. We don't have the boot, and it keeps tearing every, for every lap, so we're going to go ahead and leave that out. So once you have this done, um, go ahead and finish up the rest of your lap packet, and that'll do it for your caliper rebuild.